This video is sponsored by Cool Stuff Inc. With free weekly content and free shipping on orders over $150, you can save 5% site wide by using the promo code MTGMUDSTA. If you're looking for a direct way to help the channel, please consider joining my Patreon and becoming a member of the generic Goblin Gang. Hey, gang, and welcome back. You might tell that I'm still a bit congested, and that's because it turns out I have a sinus and ear infection, so I've got those sweet, sweet antibiotics and will hopefully be getting better soon. Meanwhile, in today's game, Maxim is playing Braids, keeping Two Swamps, Butcher of Malakir, Phyrexian Reclamation, Arcane Signet, Cauldron of Souls, an Expedition Map. Seb is playing Sithis, keeping Ethereal Armor, Starheim Corsair, Three Forests, and a Plains. Marie is playing her Ayara deck, keeping an Arcane Signet, Reassembling Skeleton, Midnight Reaper, Zulport Cutthroat, Black Market, Soul Ring, and a Swamp. Oof, that's a greedy opener. Felix is playing Kadric, keeping Bruce Tarl, Rionia Fire Dancer, Austere Command, Three Mountains, and a Plains. Max wins a die roll and starts us off. He draws, plays a Swamp, and casts a tapped Gutterbone. Seb just plays a Forest. Marie has a Swamp for turn, and taps it for a Soul Ring, and then taps that for an Arcane Signet. After her explosive turn 1, she passes. Felix draws and plays a mountain. Max draws and plays a swamp. He casts his own arcane signet and taps that into an expedition map. Going to combat, the gutter bones goes at Marie for 2 and he passes. Seb plays a plains and casts his commander, Sithis passing after that. Marie draws and plays a reassembling skeleton. She then casts Culling the Weak, sacrificing the skeleton to make 4 black mana, and uses that to help cast a Yara. With 2 mana floating from the Soul Ring still and the Culling the Weak, she finishes things off with the Zulpur Cutthroat, which pings the table for 1 with a Yara as it comes in. Felix draws and plays a Plains. He then casts Boros Signet and passes. Max draws and plays a Swamp, which isn't a surprise since he's mono black. He casts Braids and follows her up with a Phyrexian Reclamation. Moving to his end step, he sacrifices the Gutter Bones to Braids' ability, and everyone decides to lose two instead of sacrifice a creature, and Max gets to draw three. Seb draws and plays a Forest. He then casts Rites of Flourishing, drawing a card, and gains a life from Sithis' trigger. He follows up with Ethereal Armor onto his commander, drawing again, and gaining another life. He moves to combat and swings Sithis at Marie, dealing 4. After that, Seb passes. Marie draws 2, but still has no lands to play. She then plays the Reassembling Skeleton from her graveyard, draining everyone for 1 as it comes in thanks to Ayara and then taps Ayara to sacrifice it and draw a card. This drains everyone for one with the Zulpur Cutthroat, and she finally draws a Swamp, which she plays. She's then able to cast a Midnight Reaper. Moving to combat, she pokes Seb for one with the Zulpur Cutthroat, and passes. Felix draws two, and then plays two Mountains as his lands for turn. He then plays Kadric, and just passes. Max draws two, and plays a Cabal Coffers, and then a Swamp. He activates the Coffers for four black mana, and then plays a Cult Conscript. Once that's out, he sacrifices it as part of casting Diabolic Intent to go and tutor for a card. With the remaining mana, he helps cast a Crypt Ghast, and then moves to his end step. Max sacrifices the Expedition Map to Braids, and once again, no one wants to sacrifice an artifact, so they each take two, and Max draws three. With that, he ends his turn. Seb draws two, and plays a forest and a plains. He plays a Starfield Mystic, and then a Verderan Enchantress. He follows that up with Blind Obedience, drawing two cards this time off the Sithis and the Enchantress triggers, and passes after that. Marie draws her two, which just so happen to be two swamps, which she plays. 
She then casts an Entomb and puts Shouldred the Apocalypse into her graveyard. She then plays Witch of the Moors, draining everyone for one. Going to her end step, Marie gets Shouldred back with the Witch of the Moors trigger, and Felix sacrifices Cadric, while Max sacrifices Braids, and Seb sacrifices the Starfield Mystic. She then passes turn. Felix draws two and plays Thrill of Possibility, discarding Chandra Torch of Defiance to draw two. He then casts a Swiftfoot Boots, but has no lands to play and has to pass. Max draws two, and in his main phase, casts Read the Bones. He scries two, draws two, and loses two. He then plays a Cabal Strongholds, and then casts a Mike's in the Wellspring, going to find a Swamp to play as his second land for turn. Max then recasts Braids, paying the extra one to extort everyone, and gains three. He finishes things off with a Mind Crank, extorting it as well, and then goes to his end step. This has Max sacrificing the Wellspring, and everyone decides to take two again, while Max gets to draw three, and mills them for two, and goes to find a basic from the Wellspring hitting the graveyard. After that, he passes. Steb draws his two, and casts a Starnheim Courser in his main phase. He then plays a Wild Growth onto a forest, drawing two cards, and then plays a Command Tower. He then casts Ghostly Prison, extorting it, and draws two more, and finally finds a second land with a Temple Garden, which he plays untapped, losing two. Seb then wraps it up with Gift of Paradise, putting it onto his planes, drawing two more, and gaining three life, and then passing to Marie. Marie draws two, and then casts Shouldred in her main phase. She brings back the reassembling skeleton from her graveyard, and sacrifices it to Yara again, drawing one extra card from the Midnight Reaper. She loses one from the Reaper, but does gain five life from Shouldred and the Zulaport Cutthroat trigger. Marie then plays a Swamp for turn, and then her own Cabal Coffers, and then taps enough to cast Sanguine Bond. After that, she moves to her end step, and the Witch of the Moors triggers, with Max sacrificing Braids, Seb sacrificing the Enchantress, Felix has nothing to sacrifice, and Marie has nothing to put to hand. She then passes after that. Felix draws two, but loses four from Shouldred and has to mill four from the Minecrank. He then plays a Wayfarer's Bobble, and then casts Magda. With no lands to play though, he has to pass. Max draws two, loses four, and plays two Swamps. He then activates the Cabal Coffers, and then the Cabal Stronghold, to make eleven black mana, and uses Go for the Throat and pays for the extorted cost to kill the Witch of the Moors. He then brings back Gutter Bones to his hand, and then replays it extorted. Max then runs it back with a Skyclave Shade, extorting that as well, and then casts an Iker Wellspring and keeps on extorting. He casts a Dark Ritual, which he extorts, and uses the mana to help recast Braids. He then uses some of that last remaining floating mana to extort Jadar, Ghoul Caller of Nephalia, and he moves to his end step. He sacrifices the Skyclave Shade to Braids, and Felix sacrifices Magda while everyone else takes two, and Max draws two. After that, he passes. Seb draws two, and loses four, and in his main phase, casts Swords to Plowshares on Shouldred to finally get rid of it. He then plays a Sigil of the Empty Throne, and then pays two for Eldamri's Call to go and find Heliod Suncrown to put to hand. He then plays a Forest and a Plains as his lands for turn, and then follows up with Heliod, making an Angel off the Sigil, and paying the one to extort it as well. Moving to combat, Seb swings Sithis at Marie, who blocks with a Zulpor Cutthroat. Before damage, Seb activates Heliod to give his commander lifelink, and everyone then loses one from the Cutthroat dying. With nothing else, Seb passes. Marie draws two and plays a Swamp. She then plays the other Shouldred in Whispering One, and then casts Vito, Thorn of Dusk Rose. 
She brings back the reassembling skeleton and targets Max with a veto trigger and the sanguine bond triggers for an extra two pings. After that, she passes. Felix draws his two and finally finds a land with the battlefield forge. He then casts an austere command, choosing little creatures and artifacts. With the board somewhat cleaned up, Felix passes. Max has to sacrifice his crypt cast to shoulder into the upkeep, but floats two black men in response, and then sacrifices it, and before leaving the phase, activates Phyrexian Reclamation to lose two and bring him back to his hand. He then draws two and plays two swamps. Max then recasts the crypt cast, and plays a puppeteer click, extorting it and getting back Elish Norn with his trigger. Max then follows up with the Butcher of Malakir, extorting it as well, and then recast Braids. Moving to his end step, he sacrifices the Puppeteer Clique, and Seb and Marie sacrifice a creature to Braids since there's a Butcher trigger on the stack anyway, but Max still draws a card off Felix. The Elish Norn is then exiled, but the Clique re-enters, and this time steals back Marie's Shouldered. After that, Max passes. Seb draws and plays a Satyr Enchantress. He then replays Sithis, drawing a card and making an Angel. He casts Feldar Retreat, making another Angel and drawing two. He then plays a Forest and a Plains as his lands for turn. Seb then makes two cats off the Retreat as the lands come in, before casting Helm of the Gods, paying the one to extort it as well. With that, Seb passes, and on the end step, Max exiles Shouldred from the Puppeteer Clique. Marie draws and plays a Swamp. She then casts an Exquisite Blood to set up the combo, and then casts a Yara to trigger her first life gain and life loss. This will allow her to go infinite and drain everyone out, and Marie is able to take the game. Game review time. So there was a lot of extortion in that game since three decks had access to it. And yes, Seb could play Blind Obedience in his deck because the black and white symbol is reminder text and not part of the actual card. His Sithis deck got going by the end of the game, but unfortunately by that point his life total was pretty low, unlike Marie and Max who seemed to be doing a decent job of draining each other back and forth. I think the worst off in this game was probably Felix who basically got the brunt of everything, and the only real contribution he did to this game was probably the austere command to try and keep himself in it. I was very impressed with Braids as I always am, and the amount of value that she gives by sacrificing a permanent at the end of turn to force opponents to sacrifice it or let you draw cards is just great. That Butcher of Malker being an out was even more backbreaking, but it actually worked in his opponent's favor because they knew they were going to sacrifice a creature anyway, so they might as well deny him the card draw from Braids. I haven't seen an Ayara deck, I think, in a long time, and probably the last time was Marie's deck. And she's just as good as I remember her. I love the fact that she drains when she comes in, plus she has a pretty decent card draw ability on her that isn't overly broken like Villas. I know some people might be disappointed that she won through combo, but I thank her for it because my fingers are getting so tired from ticking up life totals and dropping them down several times a turn. This video wouldn't be possible without the help from my sponsors, Cool Stuff Inc., Multizone, Original Magic Art, and Alter Sleeves. But it definitely wouldn't be possible without the help from you, the viewers, and my patrons. So I just want to say thank you for watching, and to remember, friends are just opponents you haven't eliminated yet.